no, 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 this is won't do. No, 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 there's a musk in the air and we have to do something about it, folks. What is going on there, kings and queens and everybody in between? As you all know, Elon Musk has purchased Twitter. Yes, I know, a lot of people's favorite shorthand website has been dashed, it's been ruined, it's been tainted because of, let me check my notes here, uh, who owns it? Which is really weird to me because all the people who would be saying that they're leaving Twitter, stop capping. Like You guys do this every time something even slightly annoying happens to a product you love. Because remember a few years ago, Kendall Jenner pops up in an ad that's supposed to be like, drink a Pepsi, save a black life, black lives matter. Pepsi ad that was like mad cringe, be all political, but Pepsi didn't really get the message and they fumbled the bag. You guys remember that? When you guys were gonna protest brown carbonated sugar water for Pepsi, you guys remember that? Or when Netflix was releasing those Dave Chappelle specials that were ruffling feathers, coupled with the fact they had a people in the upper echelon, people behind the scenes, people in high profile positions getting ousted from the company because they were caught sexually harassing women in the workplace, making it an absolute nightmare for some of the female employees to actually show up to work. Remember when you guys said you were gonna get rid of Netflix for all of that? But somehow each and every one of those people who I know who said they were gonna get rid of Netflix during that time could still give me comprehensive breakdowns of every episode of Squid Game. So clearly they didn't do that either. Or hell, YouTube shafts your content creators on the daily, allowing randoms from all over the world who own nothing to their name to copyright claim all sorts of content that they do not own, taking people's hard earned videos and hard earned money away from them, making anybody who's a full-time content creator pretty much have to play ball with the fucking Joker because YouTube's not going to help them. But alas, those content creators still on this platform and the viewers doubly so. And oh, wait, 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 I know, I know. You guys wanna leave Twitter because you don't like who owns it now, I understand. So how about those Amazon Prime subscriptions that I know you guys got rid of during Jeff Bezos' tenure? You know, the guy that had extramarital affairs by cheating on his wife, you know that guy? The company that, you know, was running anti-union ads on Twitch. Or, you know, the very same company that had people allegedly pissing in bottles, having people hopped up on painkillers because they couldn't get any time off because none of the Amazon management would ever give anyone time off. The, the same Amazon that literally got their first union a couple months ago and just met with absolute fanfare. That Amazon? No? You didn't get rid of those accounts? You still got Amazon Prime? You see, we've all heard these wolf tickets being sold before. You don't have the guts to actually take a stand on anything. And if you're gonna take a stand, this is probably the weakest thing you could stand on because you don't like the guy because what he shit posts. Look, if he wants to sit up here and buy the site, nothing's going to change. That's the funny part. It's going to be the same Twitter that you love today or you hate it today. Nothing is really going to evolve. Things aren't really going to be different for the average user. He says he wants to be a champion of free speech and he wants everyone to be able to say whatever it is that they want without fear of ban, suspension, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna be honest with you, Twitter has always been a private site that's immune to traditional free speech because free speech is more for punishment by the law and beyond. Not because a private site just says, nah, you out of pocket, you wildin' to the shadow realm with you. That's not, that's not Twitter. Twitter has never been the free speech zone. And if he wants to change that, I mean, who am I to stop him? I think it's nicer when things are the wild, wild west, because when people post stupid shit, you're allowed to tell them, hey buddy, that's stupid. And if they don't want to believe you, perhaps the people who are going to be navigating the thread when you see them just deconstructing their arguments, you'll be like, oh, okay, well, all right. Now other people are becoming educated and being like, no, while I do like this guy or this girl, they actually are out of pocket here and I'm going to pull my support. And that's fine. That would be great in an ideal, euphoric feeling where we're all in lockstep learning and becoming better people together. But we all know that's not going to be the case. It's gonna be the same shit show, the same slinging contest that we've seen today, the past two years, the past six years, all the way back to Twitter's inception. Like, it's not going to change. Like, maybe I'm just being a pessimist. Maybe y'all are just being optimist. But there is no way you're going to tell me that in any way, shape, or form, y'all see this website changing for the better just because some new management has stepped in. Now, he says he wants to get rid of the bots. He says he wants even the people who dislike him, his biggest critics, and don't get me wrong, Elon Musk is a certified first ballot weirdo hall of famer, all right? 
if you want to put a definition of weird and you need someone to actually take that picture of what weird is elon musk on the screen that's him that's the guy that is who you're looking for but ultimately i just don't see there being any way shape or form where this is a meaningful change that is worth any of the hullabaloo that's going on here because if you look right now on twitter the analytics will show you that most of the people who are using the hashtag leaving Twitter aren't even people who are leaving Twitter. It's a bunch of people who are yelling at people who are apparently leaving Twitter, which we know they're not leaving Twitter. And I don't know, it's just a giant mess. It, that's really what it is. Cause 90% of the tweets that I've seen in the past 24 hours have just been people making fun of the people who are leaving Twitter, which once again is a very, I guess, super vocal minority because I can hardly find any tweets of people actually leaving Twitter. And the few people who we know who left Twitter like Talcum X, Sean King, yeah, he does anything for clout. Color me not surprised to figure out that he tried to do something to garner clout. And then once he realized that no one gave a fuck about him trying to garner more interactions and increase his social media reach, that he came back in less than 12 hours. Like, you, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me if you think that's not already in his Grifter 101 playbook. Like, that's just who he is. We knew that from jump, but alas, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is going to be interesting? Do you think this is going to go somewhere positive? Or do you think Twitter is going to continue to be, I don't know, the same hell site that we left it and he found it? Because honestly, once again, and I feel like I'm going in circles here, I don't feel like this is changing anytime soon. But you guys, maybe you guys got some information you wanna tell me. Let me know in the comment section below. I've been your boy MFC and I'll see you guys next time.